Well, I want to talk about another pitcher, um, quite opposite on the spectrum. He he doesn't throw 88, <laughs> 89. He hits 100, and he's 17 years old. Um, I haven't really talked too much about him. I know when the Pirates signed him, there was a lot of negativity in your typical Pirates fashion. It's like they signed this kid out of Africa. Like, what's going on? A Uganda pitcher, David Matoma, 17 hits, triple digits. He's putting on a performance. So, so far this year, and he's in the DSL right now at 17. He only has, great it's 16.2 innings, right? But I want to talk about the 16.2 innings because in those 16.2 innings, as a 17-year-old, he hasn't given up a run yet. I mean, that's kind of impressive. You know, and like again, I understand it's the DSL, but like he's still 17 years old. What were you doing at 17 years old, Jim? I wasn't striking out players who get paid to play baseball and not allowing a run. Yeah, no, 17 years old, you know, junior, junior, senior in high school. So, uh, it, yeah, it's impressive. Uh, again, kind of that small sample size thing where, you know, if you're going to have 16 and a two thirds innings pitched on your professional career, it's nice mm-hmm. to have it like this. Um, this is kind of how like Po Yu Chen, you know, started off his his career. Oh, now he God. did it. He did it in the complex league. Um, Atone was doing it in the uh, the, the Dominican summer leagues. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, uh, I mean, just the, 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 it's hard to know every like it, it's tough. The DSL is tough because like there's no there's not really any footage. There's no video. Like you, you really have like no idea who these guys are facing at any point in time. Um, the, the walks seem high, just to, like looking at the numbers just right from the get go, but he's yeah. 17 years old. Right. So you got to imagine that that's something that you hopefully just get better at. Um, you would think that someone who throws 101 miles an hour could strike out more people than he's doing right now too, but he's also probably not throwing 101 miles an hour in a game. So that, that, that yeah, so I, I'd like to, um, It'll be interesting to see him get to the complex league where you can get a little bit more data on him um, because, yeah, I mean, so far, definitely an interesting prospect. Uh, like you mentioned, I mean, 17, and and he's performed extremely well uh, in his in his pro career. So, uh, yeah, let's let's see let's see uh, let's see what he does. It, right, he's he's certainly someone to. Uh, you know, know that he exists at least at this point. That's where I'm at. I, I feel like it's so easy to talk about Tamar every week, <laughs> right? Like last week too. Like kind of find some a little bit more obscure, someone that we're not really talking about. Um, and here's here's a guy. Like he here is a guy who can be interesting. So again, we're talking. Oh, I say a guy. Jeez, he's, he's a kid. He's literally a boy. <laughs> here is a 17 year old boy mm-hmm. who uh, who has some intrigue. You know, again, he's like. He's hitting 100 miles an hour. That's why he was signed. Um, he, like, not to say it's a negative way, but like, there is no IMG Academy you know, in Uganda. So there's going to be a lot of development, I'm sure. Like, it is just a pure talent. And for him to come over right away into the, you know, the DSL, and, and you're right, like, you want to see better, but still. Like, he's just been put and thrown into professional baseball to this degree and so far performing. Um, so yeah, like uh, let's let's kind of keep an eye on this kid, see what he what he has, how the Pirates can maybe develop him. Yeah, um, he. I mean, apparently he hit one hundred and one in the DSL. So yeah, let's uh, see what we can do. And he's starting to change up at seventeen. So hopefully he can get a good feel for that pitch. If you throw one hundred and one, talk about that. You throw one hundred and one, and you've got a good change up. You're gonna be good. You're done. Yeah, game over. <laughs> well, thank you for watching. I know we try to provide the most entertaining content that we can, uh, and we'd love to spread it to as many people as possible. So uh, I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but if you could take the five seconds to like this video and subscribe to the page, it helps out so much more than you know. Thank you, and let's go, Bucks.